Hello there, welcome back. So, I've got a very fun little video for you today. Very, very short. So, the other day, they finally fixed this bicycle, and I got a good opportunity to play with it on the stream, and I got extremely lucky with it. So, extremely lucky, that I thought it would be fun to make a very short little video talking about it, how I love this bicycle, and how I'm so glad it's gotten fixed. And also, in addition to that, I'm also using the Deadringer and the Nurse Rangé. We haven't really used it yet. People have been recommending it to me as, like, a little set, uh, running the Letter and the Dead Ringer, because obviously the Dead Ringer doesn't charge off of ammo, but it still charges fine off like the Big Owner and the Letter and I was kind of putting off doing that, just because I always thought, you know, Dead Ringer for me was always a shooty gun, and, you know, the Letter and and the Big Owner are basically the opposite. They're the two spy weapons that make your stabbing better. But, you know, bit of fun streaming, doesn't really matter what we're doing, so I thought I'd try out the loadout, and it ended up being extremely strong. So normally, traditionally, a long, long time ago, if I was telling people to practice gun spy, I would literally just say, grab the letter Angers and pretend, pretend you're a gun spy and run around, and you'll have to hit more shots to kill people, so it makes you a little bit better. You'll remember maybe a little while ago I made a video on Nucleus, where I was running around with that as like a bad gun spy loadout. That's basically what we're doing today. I, I was basically trying to think of a loadout that would possibly make the Dead Ringer properly useful, rather than just a kind of boring pain to use like it is. I found that running it with the letter on J seems to basically just make it how it used to be. So uh, what I basically pulled out of this was, um, so as you'll see in the clip, you know, it's six, five, six, seven, eight minutes long, so it's a normal video length. But uh, basically I'm running around pretending I'm playing Revolver Gun Spy, like you would on, you know, Viaduct or something, close range Revolver, Dead Ring and normal stuff, except you're using the Letter on so obviously I have to take one more shot. It ends up not being that bad. If you're seeing a player, as you will see, running around, also, this little thing here, look. How would you not hear that? Like a super loud Dead Ring, but anyway, yeah. As you'll see, there'll be a lot of situations where people are running around on like 9 health, and the fact that I do less damage doesn't really matter. If there's bullet spread like on that scout there, that's perfectly fine. We also hit with a crit we didn't deserve, so I think it was fine that we got bad on the uh, bullet spread. But anyway, as you'll see, I'm playing it quite uniquely. Normally, like back there on the roof, I should have just backstabbed the sniper, but because I can't just pick up his ammo with a backstab, I actually have to kill unaware targets with the left one and it's quite a fun little minigame. So normally, typically, you know, old Dead Ringer, you just go around backstabbing people without really paying attention to it. With this loadout, you can't- if you see an unaware target- also, how did you not hear that? <laughs> if you see an unaware target, you can't just go for a backstab like you normally would. You have to pull out your gun, and you have to recharge your Dead Ringer. But as you're seeing, it's perfectly fine. As long as you've got some decent revolver aim, you know, you've got you've got some alright revolver aim, you've got the ability to track and you keep your calm. So, you know, if there's a pyro running at you at full health, you can't just pee yourself and run away. You've got to just shoot him four times. But shooting him four times isn't that big of a deal. It only takes about two seconds to hit all of the shots, and it's fine. And the other, also, the star of the show, obviously, other than those two weapons, is the Spicicle, which up until now had been broken. I shortly went over it in the last video, but basically, Presumably when they updated the flamethrower to have new flames, they did something weird to separate it from the old flames, and as a result, the bicycle was only set off an afterburn. Afterburn, obviously, the actual mechanics of it hasn't changed, really. It's still just fire on the side of your screen, so the bicycle set still set off on that phone, but the fire clearly was something was different, so it was only getting itself an afterburn. Anyway, that was fixed. Fortunately, this was my first game really running around with the new bicycle or the old one, and it's a huge breath of fresh air. Like, playing Spy in the new update had been kinda... Well, boring. Like, if a pyro runs into you, he basically has, like, I don't know if it's quite 300 DPM, <laughs> but it feels like it. Like, if a pyro sees a heavy on 300 health and the heavy's not spun up, he will win every time. So having the ability to just do this, just, you know, there's a pyro running around spamming his flamethrower, just the ability to pull out the bicycle and run away is huge. It's, uh, it meant, it's like you are actually being able to play spy normally. Here we go. Little battle. Battle of the wits. Obviously, you know, the battle knife will always win the battle, no battle of the wits. There's a Spire there on 70 health. I don't duel him. <laughs> Why would I duel him? I've got to hit three shots on him. I've got less health. He's only got to hit one shot on me. No point. That sniper there, you see? I didn't pull out my knife as if to go and backstab the sniper. I did pull out my gun in the attempt that I was going to go cloak off of him. But a spy backstabbed him, so I thought, okay, I need to get cloaked somewhere else. There's people on the cart a mile away. You get the exact same amount of cloak off every shot on the left one, remember? It doesn't matter how much damage you do. It's not like the new black box. You just hit any shot. And you get that cloak back. I don't know how many shots it is to fully recharge it, but I don't generally say if you hit about four, four shots or so, you'll refill it mostly. Wait, it's like a second or two. And that's basically what we're doing. We're not trying to get into too many gunfights. Here, I'm avoiding peeking the sniper sightline on the left just because I know there's a couple of snipers around. 
Here I thought the demo might go into the health. Normally if the demo goes into the health like that, I will like decloak right in front of him and butter knife him, and they don't tend to expect it. They'll either pull out their melee to try and kill you, or uh, just crit pipe you basically. But anyway, yeah, that's spy back there. Six health. Doesn't matter. There's a minimum damage is always like 17 on this thing. So the fact that you can just pew people across the map is still perfectly fine. I still highly recommend that in situations where there's people running around on like below 40 health across the map, any revolver, just shoot them twice. It's fine. If you have an entire clip of six shots, you'll probably hit two of them. So just in the back of your head, think 40, shot, 40 damage. That's a man I can shoot across the map. I feel like it's good to keep these kinds of numbers in your head if you're playing around. Even with this loadout where you do what? Not very much damage at long range at all. It's still a good idea just to keep that in mind because a lot of my picks here are off low health targets. Some of them are on you know, full health targets that I'm just revolver DMing like you normally would. The scout there was a bit wild. I wanted to butter knife him, but he didn't want to uh, be butter knifed apparently. But yeah. A lot of my kills are on low health targets, but then some of them like this. They're just normal, normal revolver DM. There's an engineer here. We pull out the old butter knife. Again, I talk about it all the time. If you've run out of ammo in close range on something that isn't a pyro, or even on a pyro, as long as you're not using this bicycle, just butter knife them. <laughs> There's no point in spending, you know, the whole second or two reloading your entire revolver clip, where you could instead just butter knife them for 40 damage instantly. Anyway, what you'll see me doing here, their team started to realise that there's a spy going around a big old kill streak, so they've all gone like sniper and they're all hiding in spawn. So I'm a bit wary of the Machina sniper. Remember the Machina full charge headshot goes through the dead ringer. That and um, backstabs are the only two things I think that can break the dead ringer, other than, you know, like obviously like a crit sticky trap will, but that doesn't really count. That will go for everything, except for Uber. But yeah, there's snipers in spawn. Look at this. He's a sniper in spawn, he's got his dot on the wall, so I'm just slowly peeking to get my dead ringer back. I'm not trying to kill him, I'm just trying to get my dead ringer back. I'm watching that dot. Yeah, you can see I'm just looking at the dot, I'm like, oh dear. I crouch a little bit as I go under it just to try to avoid it. And we basically just survived the whole round. We died once at the start, I cut that out, I basically just didn't do anything. Then I switched over to the Dead Ringer Spicicle combo. As you can see, it's all been doing pretty, it's a freaking fucking solid. So yeah, this is just basically a little call out to recommend. If you do want to use the Dead Ringer, you can use it. Run around, run around with the letter on J and have a good time being like a bit of a niche crappy gun spy. But a niche crappy gun spy is still better than just sitting in the corner for 20 minutes with a dead ringer. I was really finding the watch incredibly boring to use. And this kind of loadout that I've uh, been using lately has kind of revived my fun in it a little bit. I'm still hoping that they'll kind of just change the dead ringer just back to how it used to be, where you could recharge it off metal and just remove the speed boosts. I think that'll be fine personally. I think it's a little boring to use now. But by no means is the dead ringer useless. So yeah, highly recommend giving this set a, uh, set a go. Seems pretty solid to me. A little cheeky end around air shot there. Kind of clearing up on a few kills here, get some free picks. And there we go. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about these kind of shorter videos, as I may make more in the future. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.